Hey guys, we're back. And as I said at the end of the last video, I was talking about how I wasn't gonna... I'm not gonna show... If, uh, the last video, if this was... If this video should have been released on the same day, I would have not have added it, but if I did, I'm sorry. Anyway. And then, dot dot dot, usually leads to something. Even as the first time I played through the game, I knew something was going to happen. Oh no, what was that? Deja vu again. Because it's... The Armada's here. Deja vu, eh? So yep, our base got attacked, what do you know. Some cool looking value in soldiers now. These ones aren't too bad, they're called shadows, and we face another form of them in the near future called assassins, I believe. And assassins are a lot stronger, and they're a lot more annoying because they have auto kill moves. So we're just going to try fighting them. The first thing they do is they use Silenus on us, because they're just faggots that way. Oh, I'm tired. Anyway. Ah! Yeah, they're hitting us with Weblin. They like shadows like using magic, unlike the assassins we'll face earlier who will actually attack us. So they both use Weblin. They all use magic on their first turn as you just saw. Ah! Let's try this! Now you may have thought, for any avid RPG player, you probably know a common thing that seems to happen in RPG games, usually near the beginning, but often happens in the middle and stuff, it depends. And if you know what I'm talking about, we're going to see it again in a little bit, because it's quite common in RPGs that this happens. And we're going to see this in a second, I'm hitting the pyre so much I can do. Yeah, let's not use Pyre anymore. He was guarding, wasn't he? Then again, Weblin. Oh, oh just attack, whatever. It'd be pretty hard to lose this fight because they made it so it's. They understand that you have two pretty weak characters and one strong character. So they're like, okay, well, we won't make the shadows too strong. This guy's probably gonna be dead by the end of this. And dead, there we go. Is it over already? You have fair rate of experience and stuff for doing that, so that's pretty cool. We're not done here. 
Obviously the Armada's still here. Yep, it was all thanks to Ramirez, of course. That's the right thing to say there. Now this is the fight I was talking about that's in a lot of RPGs, especially traditional Japanese ones. There's always those fights that no matter how hard you will try, you are meant to lose. And we've had these many times, it happens in them. Hey, he's already used this move, we're gonna die this turn, that's great. We're gonna see this move a lot later in the game, it moves pretty intense. Now, I think it should just stop right there, but no, he has to do this. And we're all dead, that's good. Is that, is that like 2,000 to everybody? Yep, every RPG did them, even Yu-Gi-Oh games did that. They all did that. Anyway. I don't know how I made them float, but they are. So there, there you go. Hey, it's that guy you could tell him like three different things and he keep answering differently. And we saw her when we were in Valua 2. I always thought that sound effect was a little awkward, I don't know why, it just was. The other one just causes him to do more. If you answer the other one, I think you just get him to do more talking, I don't know. Oh man, we're coming out of time. We're going to have to see what happens next time. And I'll make sure that the following video to this one gets uploaded on the same day as this one. So don't worry, you'll be watching the second one right after this.